Before we jump into today's video, I just want to bring you guys up to speed with the entire kit that we're doing. So from the title, you guys can obviously see that I'm doing the Varus kit for my R35 GTR, and that's just like mind-blowing. Well, this has been one of the hardest secrets of my life to keep. From the screenshot that you guys are seeing on the screen right now, you guys can see that the date is September 5th. That's the day that I officially ordered the kit. Fast forward almost six months, and the guys over at Art of Attack actually started receiving a couple of the parts, and they were kind enough to drive them down to my shop so that I can unbox them and see them. Thank you guys for that. That was my first time ever really getting to see pieces of the kit in person, the carbon, the fiberglass, everything just looked amazing. So I was really stoked. Then a few days later on February 3rd, the final piece, the front bumper actually showed up to Art of Attack. So I drove the truck up, picked it up, and actually got to see the front bumper in person with the carbon fiber lip and everything. So that brings us to today. I'm super stoked to finally announce that I'm doing the Varus kit on the GTR. Enjoy the build, guys because this is a dream come true. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the GTR build series and today one of the most exciting days of my entire car career. That's because I get to reveal my dream body kit to all of you guys. This is something that I've wanted pretty much ever since I even found out about it and I never ever thought I'd be able to be in my shop and actually own this kit much, much like less own this R35 GTR kit. So in today's build episode we are starting on the R35 GTR. Our various kids. Now, I'm super excited for this because like I said, this is my dream kit. I found out about Varus when I first had my WRX and I saw their first molding ever for the 2015 and up STI WRX and I fell in love with it. I was only able to afford the front bumper for my WRX and it's been a dream to actually have a full kit. The goal was kind of to get a full kit for the WRX, but when I got the R35, everything changed. I went through Art of Attack who really helped me out in getting every single piece that I wanted. If you guys don't know, specking a Varus kit is really difficult. They have so many versions and now that I think about it, I don't even remember the version that I got. This is something that I've wanted for a very, very long time and I am so excited to get this started and to show all of you guys the finished product of the GTR. Oh my god. Today what we're going to work on is this. Now this specifically being one of the coolest parts, the front bumper and the massive carbon fiber lip. Okay, so here we have the Varus 2017 version. Actually, I believe it's the Varus 2017 version. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty positive that's what it is. But this kit overall is absolutely unbelievable. So one of my favorite things about the front bumper is, of course, the gigantic carbon fiber front lip that you get. It really extends the front end, makes it, makes it sit a little bit lower, and gives it just such an aggressive look. And I love carbon fiber, so it's gonna be amazing. Something that I think is really cool, since we just did the ETS front mount intercooler, I kind of mocked up the front bumper and one thing that I really love is the gigantic opening that you get on this front bumper. With the kit, I believe you get all the hardware that you need. I'm going through the process of installing. I guess we'll see if that's true, but I'm pretty sure you get the hardware that you need for this. And one thing that really just that sets Varus apart from all of the other companies that I've been able to put on is Varus is actually like a fiberglass carbon fiber mixture. So, ugh. If you look on the back of the Varus kits, yes, it's fiberglass, but check this out. 
All of the fiberglass is carbon fiber reinforced on the edges just in case breaks or anything like that. The entire kit is carbon reinforced, which is just absolutely mind blowing. That is amazing. Okay, well, I pretty much have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to body work. I'm just gonna go for it, start installing, start doing it piece by piece, and start fitting things. I'm hoping that it fits pretty good, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, first thing I had to do is get the car up in the air so I can take the front wheels off. I just figured it'd be easier with the front wheels off, but one thing that I really like about Varus is that they come with instructions. Granted, all the picture instructions are in complete Japanese, but I can use the app to read this. It takes a little bit of weight off my shoulders, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. I already took the front bumper off whenever we did the front on intercooler, so I don't, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm gonna go ahead, bring the front bumper over here, take the Varus front bumper, and there are a few parts that I need to take from the stock and put it over to the Varus. Okay, I'm just gonna basically read through the pamphlet to see exactly what I'm supposed to do so I don't miss anything throughout the install. No worries with Japanese instructions because it just translates it for me. Remove the sensors attached to the bumper and the bracket on the bottom of the headlight. Basically now I'll be taking all the sensors and the LED lights that run along the front and put it on the various bumpers so that uh, there's no lights dinging or anything like that. So let's go ahead and remove the sensors. So thankfully Varus does give you uh, all the hardware that you need. So I believe the LED light just goes right into here. First LED light bracket and everything is in. I'll show you guys what it looks like from the front. It looks amazing. Oh, yeah. First LED is in, now you just have to do the next one and then we can keep moving forward. But that looks awesome. All right, we did it. LED number two is in and then LED number one. So let's go ahead and check out the next step. Okay, oh man, this looks fun. Okay, so next on the list here is to take out the side markers and put them onto the Varus bumper, which is pretty easy. Okay, side marker is out. What you actually have to do is this has a bracket uh, from the stock bumper. You have to modify it to the Varus bumper. So these are held in by rivets. I'm gonna go ahead and drill out these rivets and Varus actually provides new rivets for you to rivet into the Varus bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and drill these out and put it on to the Varus. Okay, bracket is out. We're gonna go ahead and put this one on the Varus kit now. Just in case you guys are wondering, everybody, the dudes that are here with me, Kevin and David back there, are actually doing uh, kind of like a little shop shoot of me working on GTR Varus skin. I thought that would be cool to kind of document as I'm doing video and everything like that, to have like really cool photos. I'll put both of their Instagrams on the screen in case you want to check out their work. <laughs> Like I said, sketchy, but brackets in. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and put in the corner marker. All right, th th literally that easy. That's why I love this, this Varus kit so much. I've never had something fit so well with like the OEM lights on an aftermarket front bumper. This is amazing. Both the brackets are on, front LED running lights are on. Now it's time for the good stuff. We get to install the carbon fiber front lip now.
Okay, now for the carbon front lip, I am elevating the bumper on the actual Varus box. Just wanna take a second to appreciate how nice all of this fits. I mean, the light literally sits perfectly into the Varus front bumper on both the running LED lights and even the side markers. I mean, it's literally perfect and I, I love it. So let's go ahead and get started with the front bumper. Okay, a little sketchy here, but it's fine. This is the massive carbon fiber front lip that goes onto the bumper. It looks super aggressive and I'm very excited to see what it's gonna look like. So basically all the holes in the front bumper are already drilled so there's no drilling needed and there's already holes in the carbon lip. So literally, I just have to bolt it on. Okay, so I haven't seen it yet, but David and Kevin say this looks insane, but I went ahead and got all of the hardware inside of the carbon fiber lip and on the front bumper. So now it's officially time to set the bumper down with the front lip, and before you guys can see it, I wanna get my reaction real fast, so go ahead and set it down. Oh my God! No way! How is that real? Oh my God! God, okay, get ready. This is this is extreme. This is the biggest carbon fiber lip I have ever seen. All right, here we go. Oh, that is actual heaven. Oh my God. This is the most aggressive front bumper I have ever seen. Looking at this, like when it's on the car is gonna be unbelievable. Holy crap. Oh. So plan now is, now that everything's on the front bumper, we can start mocking it up to the actual car now. So I'm hoping that we don't have to cut anything and it just you know bolts right up. So far I've had really good luck with the fitment, so that's what I'm expecting. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the lights for the running lights and the turn signals. So let's go ahead and do that and let's see how this thing fits. Oh my God, that is insane. That is actually ridiculous. I cannot get over how aggressive this front bumper looks. I love how you can see the ETS front mount from this, this big massive vent that goes into the front of the car. It is literally perfect. I cannot wait to show you guys with the new wheels and everything like that. The full kit finish and the wheels is just gonna like it's gonna be perfect. So, now that the front bumper's on, we do have this under panel piece right here, which I'm gonna go ahead and install right now too. It's basically just a few bolts. I'll show you guys once I get it installed. All right, boom, the bumper is completely on. I went ahead and put the under panel on, as you can see right here. Now the bumper is completely sturdy and good to go. Oh, I cannot believe the Varus front bumper is officially on the car. Took me all day, but we, we finally got it done. Everything is pieced together. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna lower the car and see what it looks like on the ground. I went ahead and put the wheels back on. So let's check it out. <laughs> Dude, that's slow. Oh my God. Look how aggressive that is. Holy sh- <laughs> Holy crap, unreal. Oh, this angle right here just shows you guys how aggressive this kit is gonna be on the car. It makes it sit so much lower. How is this even real life? Oh my God, this is amazing. So front bumper is officially on and I've probably just sat here for 20 minutes staring at the car. Like I cannot believe that this is real life. This is, the, the G R35 has been a dream car of course, but like I never in a million years thought I would be able to own a true real Varus kit 
especially on a 35 and to be doing this by myself, I don't know, I just feel proud. You know, I do my best to take it step by step and figure it out as I go. It definitely helps to have people like John who help me along the way and teach me and I'm slowly but surely learning. And to complete a job like a Varus kit on a, on a GTR for me is a huge job and I am just very, I'm just very proud at this entire build process that I'm going with on the 35. I'm doing everything exactly like I wanna do it. I'm not cutting corners, no shortcuts. I've waited the months for the parts, the wheels. I've saved up the money for top quality stuff like the ETS and the Varus and the work wheels. And I don't know, I'm just very, very proud and I cannot believe that this is my car. The Varus front bumper looks amazing and I'm so happy that it, uh, it was actually very easy to put on. Everything fits amazing. It's definitely worth the money. It took me a very long time to actually save up and actually do the purchase, but I'm stoked on it, and I don't think it could have came out any better. So with all of that being said, that is gonna be the end of today's build series episode. This was part one of the Varus wide body. Do I call it a wide body? Let me know in the comments down below. Is it a wide body? The fenders add 20 mil. There's no rear uh, quarter panel body, body kit, but there are side skirts and a rear bumper. So together in all, it's front bumper, front fenders, plus 20 mil side skirts and a rear bumper. Do I call that a wide body is it, or is it just a, a is it just a body kit? Because it does add 20 millimeters in the front, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I know we didn't show you guys the rest of the kit. I want to keep it a secret throughout the entire build. So uh, next episode, you guys will see the front fenders being put on. And then the next episode will be side skirts. And then finally, the rear bumper. So we have a lot to do, uh, but it's going to be very, very worth it. So hope you guys enjoyed the install of the R35 GTR Varus front bumper. With all the work done, I think it's time to close down shop. But if you guys stayed for this long, I think you deserve a little sneak peek at what's to come for the next episode. Take a look at these front fenders. Oh my God. Okay, that's all you guys get. That's all you get, you can't see anymore. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are really enjoying the GTR build series. This is the most fun that I've ever had really building a car and uh, this one's really special to me. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Once again, thank you guys. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the rest of the series and all the other projects that we have going on. It's gonna be an awesome time. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.